Hello guys, it's Shit Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel and this for today's video we have the review of the Adrenaline 24.10.1 drivers and as I say in all my videos, 24 is the year 2024 3. 10 is the month October 3. and 1 is the revision in that same month, so the first revision of October mm. and by the way you might have noticed but the reverberation or the echo is much, much less now and all because of that shelf, all that, all because of that shelf with lots of boxes and lots of GPUs, and the echo was reduced massively. And I'm talking on the, and I'm talking on the opposite side of the of the shelf, and even that way, the echo was massively reduced. So I'm way, way happier now. But anyway, it is what it is, I guess. And it's the dog here, the cat there. <laughs> I mean, it's a full house. Full with me, my girlfriend, my cat, and the sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall! Bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. And I also want to say sorry because I wanted to make the video earlier and I was up up until like 3 a.m. Yesterday, yesterday, but I thought to myself, well, I'm not going to make the video today and I'm not going to release the video at 6 a.m. So I'm just going to sleep. And so I did. And now I'm recording. So it is what it is. But you now have the video and the 24.10.1 drivers don't really bring many new things, but they do bring some important fixes. Firstly, we start with highlights with new game support for Unknown 9 Awakening and Call of Duty Black Ops 6 and that's all. And then we have expanded Hypertune support. With Hypertune support allows HyperRx to enable in-game technologies like AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution and AMD Radeon Anti-Lag 2. Support has been added to automatically configure AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution with frame generation in Call of Duty Black Ops, 7 Days to Die, and once human. And in case you don't really know what's HyperRx or what are HyperTuned games, once again, these uh, HyperRx is kind of a mix of several features. AFMF, in this case AFMF2, AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2, RSR, Radeon Boost, Anti-Lag 2 and several, or in this case Anti-Lag, and several other uh, features that AMD has. So basically HyperRx uh, is a mix of those features that they use for gaming. And the Hypertune games are games where when you enable HyperRx, they will enable the inbuilt in the game FSR2 or FSR3, Anti-Lag 2 and frame generation inside that game instead of using the driver version uh, of those which will be AFMF2 and RSR. Firstly, RSR is Radeon Super Resolution and it's kind of an upscaling technology but uses spatial upscaling instead of temporal upscaling. Uh, mean, meaning that uh, you, when you're using RSR, you're actually using FSR1 because it uses the FSR1 algorithm. And with an hypertuned profile for your game, it means that instead of using RSR, you'll be using Fidelity FX Super Resolution, so FSR inside the game, which will be much better than the FSR1 algorithm. And the same applies for AFMF2. Although AFMF has been updated to the, um, to the second version and AFMF2 is much, much better than AFMF1, much, much better, it still lacks when compared to an in-game frame generator because the in-game frame generator has access to motion vectors, to depth and so on. So the overall latency and the overall image quality will be better. And that's why uh, AMD actually does the Hypertune profiles or the Hypertune games in order to use FSR frame generation instead of AFMF2 because of course FSR frame generation is still better. I just wanted to explain this. And then we have fixed issues and improvements with intermittent performance impact when entering certain areas while playing DayZ and people were having lots of issues with DayZ I believe. I don't really know if this is fixed, completely fixed, entirely fixed or if, it's, if it is just an improvement like in the previous drivers but at least it is here so if you're playing DayZ this driver might actually fix your issue, which is great. And the second fixed or improved issue is intermittent system or application crash may be observed when changing in-game resolution settings while playing Doom Eternal with AMD Software Adrenaline Edition Metrics Overlay Enabled, which is a common bug, I guess, and quite easy to fix. 
And that's all for the fixed issues and support. This is basically a 24.9.1 with some fixed issues, but at least we have the known issues. And if the issues are in the known issues, it means that AMD actually acknowledged those issues and are working on fixing them. So if you see something in, in the known issues, it is actually a good sign, as opposite to having the issue and not being in the known issue. Firstly, we start with intermittent driver time error crash, maybe observed while playing Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2 on some, on some AMD graphics products such as the AMD Ryzen AI 9 HX370. Users experiencing this issue can enable variable graphics memory in AMD Software Adrenaline Edition as a temporary measure. But I mean, people with these integrated graphics like I have on that laptop, the ZenBook S6 or something like that, uh, they won't play Space Marine, Space Marine 2 because it won't be able to run it, but anyway. Then we have System Crash may be observed when first launching Steam VR while using Valve Index at 144Hz on Radeon RX 6000 series graphics products, so may be observed doesn't mean that it will happen, but may happen. After using the AMD Cleanup utility for Windows, the AMD Bug Report tool may appear intermittently whatever this is, during a new driver install on the AMD Ryzen 7000 and above series processors paired with an AMD graphics product. Such a really, really weird issue. And the last one is intermittent application freeze may be observed while loading a save file in Monster Hunter World. Yeah, this is all for today's fixed issues and known issues. There are more known issues, meaning that AMD knows that they have these issues now and they are working on fixing them. And as for the fixed issues, we do have more related to Space Marine 2 and so on, even though sometimes there are some fixed issues that aren't presented on the release notes, and sometimes even AMD doesn't know that they fixed the issue, it just happens. The same way that it just happens that sometimes we, we break some things when we fix others. I mean, it is the beauty, the beauty of software. And as for my experience with these drivers, I've tested them for, for some hours, yeah, for some hours in several builds. I tested them on this build or my main my my main build, <laughs> I'm even stuttering my main build. I tested it um, on that build with a 7900 XT a bit, uh, playing some games like Dragon Ball Sparking Zero and so on. I tested it on the other build that I have that will be presented on this video as well with a 6750 XT. And in some case scenarios, for example, like Frostpunk 2, it seems that the 6750 XT did lose a bit of FPS, but might be just a case scenario for me. So if you're playing Frostpunk 2 and you updated from the 24.9.1 to the 24.10.1, let me know if the drivers actually decreased your performance as well, because I had kind of a 5% decrease performance in Frostpunk 2 with the 6750XT. Otherwise, the other games and so on, Space Marine 2 seems to, to have a bit more FPS once again, compared to the 24.9.1, it seems at least, um, and we have some more games that do increase the performance a bit, but there are others like Frostpunk 2, for example, that loses a bit of performance. So, as usual, that's it. No crashes. It works fine. The only thing that I can really point out is that one that I told you, uh, Frostpunk losing 5% performance on the 6750 XT. But, yeah, that's it. And well, guys, that's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Leave your comment in the comment section as usual. Let us know the community if you're having issues, if you're not having issues. And remember, it's very important to leave your comment in the comment section because uh, AMD, AMD does read the comment section. The guys from the AMD development on the software side, they do read the comment section. So it's really important if you have issues to leave them in the comment section. And by the way, just let me tell you that um, in terms of of the community, our community, there are lots of things that are user-related issues, and I can guarantee that because I've I've seen that thousands, and I'm not even exaggerating, I, I saw that thousands of times over the years where people were complaining of AMD issues that were in fact, for example, unstable overclocking and so on, and then they say, well, but I, I went back to Nvidia and I, don't, and I don't really have issues. First of all, Nvidia drivers and Nvidia GPUs are not um, that's sensitive to CPU instability, and I've seen that loads and loads of times. And it happens that, for example, people that updated their, their GPU or upgraded their GPU, for example, they had like um, a GTX 1060, and then they updated to, let's say, uh, an RX, an RX 6700 or RX 7600 XT, something like that. 
and they say, well, but my previous NVIDIA GPU didn't have any issues. Well, your previous GPU didn't have any issues because that previous GPU wasn't stressing the CPU and RAM enough. The GPU was way, way slower. It wasn't stressing the CPU and RAM as much. And since it wasn't stressing the GPU and RAM as much, you weren't having any issues in terms of instability. But the instability was there. You just didn't have any issues because the GPU was too slow. And that happens way more than people think. And for example, in terms of drivers, if you just remove your NVIDIA GPU and then install the MD1 without removing or clean installing the NVIDIA drivers, that might cause issues as well. So first of all, before removing the NVIDIA card, you want to do a clean installation with DDU, clean and shut down, and then you put your NVIDIA or your, your new NVIDIA or let's say your AMD GPU there, and then you, you install the MD driver. So don't miss the steps because if you think you have issues or crashes with the drivers, make sure to have everything stable. And if you are not sure, test everything at stock, make clean installations of the drivers and then make up your mind. Don't say crap, don't comment crap before you actually make these steps. So I'm just advising you in order for you to have a stable system and so on. I just want you to be happy and enjoy your games, but yeah. Once again, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video, guys. Cheers. to stop the Tyranids. I am almost at the crash site. Just make sure the launcher is still standing when I get there. I will hold the line for as long as I can. 